here at Kitchen on Fire. Corn and mango salsa. Well, Reba, Reba, we're back and about to do our wonderful corn, mango, and black bean salsa. Yeah, yes. salsa tita. I know, it's party time, huh? Yes, it is. Okay, so here I have some dry, uncooked, organic bulk black beans, which these are fine and dandy to use. We simmer these guys for a good about hour, hour and a half. They'll be beautifully cooked and wind up like this. Like you could guys. also, if you want, use organic canned beans too, huh? Which we Chef Olive. Yes, you can. And into our mixing bowl they go. And then, hey, Chef Olive, can you wind up zesting and squeezing that lime in there? Actually, I can. So you have to zest anything. You want to keep your zester horizontal about and just roll your fruits under it. And now, we're going to cut this guy. So we're going to slice it in two in there to put it flat against the hole so the juice can escape. And then we're gonna squeeze this guy in, see? Perfect. And next, the, you know, the, the onions, because they, they make us cry a little bit. Well, there's a couple things that we can do to alleviate the tears. Three. For, well, three, four, four five. five. The easiest thing to do, in all honesty, is buy yourself some swimmer goggles. They're able to completely encase your eye, but you see through them easily, so no more crying mist. Okay. And I'm gonna pull the onion to the edge of my cutting surface so that I can make some, at first, horizontal slices. Remember, again, not all the way through. So now we're going to cut some slices into the top of the onion, again, not crossing that imaginary line that we have. And then when I cut across the onion now, I wind up with a nice, beautiful dice. And into the bowl with the onions. Olivia, can you give that a stir around, man? Okay. And then, well, why don't we move on next to our hot peppers. So how are we gonna do that, bro? I wanna slice this guy, if I can, like as carefully as possible, lengthwise, like this. I'm gonna remove some of it, just like this. Yeah, the more seeds and pith, the hotter it is. Yeah. None, mild. Some, medium, all of them hot. So should I keep like this? What do you yeah, think? why don't we go for medium? I'm gonna do the julienne, the sticks, okay? And then I'm gonna do little cubes. I mean, really, really, really tiny ones. And you're just gonna grab this thing and just throw it in your bowl, okay? And then we're gonna mix it up. Nice. You should not touch your eyes or other parts of your body until you wash your hands hey. thoroughly. That's true, but you can touch somebody else's eye. But Let's not try. mine. Oh, okay, not you. Now, the mango, like a lot of other fruits, has a pit on the inside. When you find that bump, that lets you know that this side is the thin side of the pit. Mm. This side will be the wide side of the pit. Take my knife and put it to the side of where I think that pit is and slice down. Then I'm gonna turn it, do the same thing on the opposite side. Find where the side of the pit is, slice down. And I'm going to take my knife, or you can just use a good old vegetable peeler and start peeling off the skin, the mango. And I'm going to cut this in half. We cut across the sticks and we get beautiful little cubes. Mm. And now we got this beautiful red bell pepper. I slice off the bottom, slice off the side, and we're going to cut some sticks, cut across the sticks, and now we have the cubes of a little red bell pepper. A nice fresh ear of corn on Zaykov. And I'm gonna cut the corn kernels off going sideways here. The last thing we need to chop up for this wonderful salsa, a little bit of cilantro. Yes. I'm gonna take my cilantro bunch and I'm just gonna fold it one time and then fold it again. And I'm gonna go make a little bowl and I'm just gonna slice like this. Get it in there. Okay. And just for a little extra bit of acidity, I'm gonna use a little bit of rice vinegar in here. And fun. Remember, cooking together with friends yeah. is real fun. 
All right, so now we're gonna present it. A nice little salsa bowl, some really great organic tortilla chips. Pop it on in there, buddy. Mm. That's perfect. For me too. Mmm. For these recipes and more, check out the Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating, available wherever books are sold.